What is up everybody, X here, and today I got some more Crisis 3 gameplay. This is me using the Marshall Shotgun on Museum Crash Site. I get all the kill streaks, as you can tell by the title of this video, and I kind of just want to talk about the kill streaks in general in Crisis 3 and how they are compared to Crisis 2 and what I think of them. So, um, pretty much how it goes is each map is specific for the kill streaks available on it. For example, in the two uh, beta maps we have Airport. Uh, the killstreaks available on there are the UAV, uh, Swarm, and Maximum Nanosuit. On Museum, you have the the UAV, uh, Swarm, yeah, then the Ceph Gunship, and then the Maximum Nanosuit as your final killstreak. Now, essentially what these killstreaks are, you have to collect the dog tags of the people you kill, so you can't uh, sort of camp and snipe everybody and kill them and just get your killstreaks like that, though I'm pretty sure... Like in Crisis 2, they will have the uh, the suit modifier that allows you to pretty much instantly get tags when you kill somebody, but it will take up a one of your three suit modifier slots, so, but that's besides the point. Essentially, I want to just give like a brief rundown of what each uh, kill streak does. So the UAV, maximum UAV, as you guess, it's a UAV, shows where everyone is on the map and how they're moving at all times. It's like, uh, if you were to compare it to Call of Duty, it's like the Black Hawk from, uh, or is it Black Hawk? Yeah, I think it's the Black Hawk from Black Ops 1 where it shows everyone's position where they're moving with the with the, the feature that it doesn't show exactly where they're looking. That ability you get with a suit modifier that activates when you have the maximum UAV. It's called Scout. It shows where the position everyone's looking at and it's actually quite helpful for flanking and stuff like that. So. There's that. You have the swarm, which is a kill streak I don't really like. It's essentially a multi multi rocket launcher. Shoots eight rockets in one burst, and you can shoot three bursts, so three bursts of eight. And it is quite powerful for taking out uh, groups of enemies. But I just don't really like it just because of how many rockets it bursts. It seems a little bit too effective, if, if I were to put it like that. For such like a pretty low kill streak, it only requires I think it's five uh, dog tags you need to collect to get it. So it is, I think it needs to be kind of nerfed a bit, at least in the beta, how it is right now, it needs to be nerfed a uh, bit. But other than that, it's okay. Uh, Seth Gunship is in pretty much a big gunship that goes around and shoots down on people. It's pretty fun to get, but it's only available at museum, but it is pretty nice. It doesn't give me that many kills, but it, I mean, it's all right. And then the final kill streak you get is the Maxo Nano Suit, which is my favorite. It pretty much gives you increased uh, sprint speed, increase. It pretty much increases your reloading times and stuff like that. It increases where it gives you a uh, permanent uh, armor ability on while you're sprinting. It lasts, I believe, 20 seconds. I think that's how long it lasts. Your overdrive lasts for, and in those 20 seconds, you can do quite a bit of damage. And it's just a great kill streak all around. So pretty much just want to go over that. Hopefully you guys found this video a little bit helpful and I will talk to you guys next time.